Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today I wanted to bring you a video about the pros and cons of the Sonovello Smart Light Bow. So I did a video on our family channel of before and after and one just an overview of the surgery so i wanted to bring to you a video about basically answering all the questions that were addressed or i want to address all the questions that i've been getting regarding this video so hopefully if you tuned in to our other channel you will tune in here as well so that i can address all of the questions that i've been getting so let me start by let's see so a question that i recently got was the cost so the cost for the procedure overall was about seven thousand dollars i know it sounds like a lot but it was finance so i pay monthly for the procedure not a big lump sum now what they did provide and i'm kind of looking over this stuff as i'm talking to you so that's why i'm pausing but what they did have was a special it was 1200 off the full price of it so i got my upper and lower abs done i did not get my size done or my back, it was just upper lower abs. And the cost was about 3,000 for each area. Then the price for the surgical fee is about $2,000. So all of that and then minus the special. So uh, yeah, so that goes over the cost. Now the uh, pain, so I addressed in the previous video, which you can find on, again, on our family channel, which is Remy Lane plus four. Now, I addressed the pain level. Um, they do some numbing, uh, they inject numbing medicine into you while they're doing the surgery. Uh, or the procedure, I shouldn't call it surgery, but during the procedure, also prior to, they give you Percocet, and this is to help with the pain. Also, after the procedure, let me think. I can't remember everything offhand because this is two years in now, but the after the procedure, they did give me, I think it was like um, Advil, ibuprofen. It was like a higher dosage than what you get over the counter. Um, now I will say this. So during the procedure, I was in a lot of pain. I felt like I could feel everything. Like even though it was numbing, um, they were, you know, shooting the numbing medicine in me as they were doing the procedure. I, I didn't feel like it was doing anything for me. And I did see um, a couple comments from other people that had the procedure as well. And they said the same thing, that the pain was, it was intense. So as far as if, if you have a high tolerance for pain, which I believe I do. I have four kids, so <laughs> definitely went through a lot. So I would say I do have a high tolerance for pain. If you're a person that does, then yes, it will hurt, but it won't be to the point of, oh my God, I can't take it. If you're a person with a uh, low tolerance, I mean, you, you can't tolerate pain very well, um, I really don't think this is the procedure for you. Now, um, I will say that Percocet and me don't really go together. 
I was prescribed Percocet once after giving birth and I, I didn't, I mean, I wasn't in a lot of pain anyway, but to me it wasn't, it didn't do anything for me then. So I think that's why it didn't really, you know, do anything this, this time. I don't, I don't think it, it goes with my body. So if, if you're a person that you've taken Percocet in the past for any reason, any surgery or births or anything, and it did help a lot with pain, then maybe, you know, it, it will do well for you. So, um, again, if, if you don't have a high, high tolerance for pain, but Percocet helps you a lot, then there you go. Another question that I've gotten a lot, <laughs> why didn't I get a tummy tuck? Well, I would say that the one thing that really appealed to me about Sonobello is not having a lot of down downtime. I am a single mother. Um, my children, I mean, two of them are older, but I do have to younger children that um, at the time, you know, required a lot more attention as far as I would have to pick them up, drop them off or different things. I didn't have a lot of help in that area. Um, also with work, um, as far as taking like a FMLA or something like that, I'd have gotten paid my full salary for, you know, the entire time. So definitely that appeal to me with Sonobello is the fact that I wouldn't have a lot of downtime and being able to get right back to work. Like I went in for my procedure on a Saturday. I was able to get back to work. Um, I really could have gone back to work that Monday, <laughs> to be honest. But I took a couple additional days just because I was in a lot of pain. So I went to back, went back to work that Wednesday. <laughs> so the procedure was done that, that Saturday. I was back at work that Wednesday. So um, not a lot of downtime at all. Now with a tummy tuck, you have months of downtime. And I just could not afford that for various reasons, as I stated. So uh, as far as if you are someone that can afford that downtime, I would say definitely go for the tummy tuck, not the, the Sonobello, because you're getting not only the fat removed permanently, but also your skin will be, you know, cut, stretched. You're gonna have a washboard, you know, tummy, like flat, flat. <laughs> Whereas with this procedure, it's not flat, flat. Now, I was told this in the beginning before even getting the procedure in my consultation that, you know, this does take away a lot of that stubborn fat that you've been trying to get rid of in your stomach area, but it's not going to give you like washboard abs, this miraculous flat stomach. Um, so, you know, I, definitely I was told that prior to doing this. So some people that watch my videos are like, this is a waste of money. Like, <laughs> this is what you paid all this money for? Well, I mean, to each his own, you know, different people have different opinions. Like I said, I was told from the beginning, you know, what to expect. And I wasn't going in expecting, oh, I'm, I'm just going to come out and be able to wear two pieces on the beach. <laughs> that type of thing. I, I wasn't going in expecting it. So, um, definitely, I would say that's another plus for me is they were very open and honest about the results that, that you would get from this. Proce oh, benefits. 
benefits is where I was going. So I don't feel that this was a waste of money for me because I was given a boost of confidence. After having four children, after having a high stress job and uh, also a job that I sit down all day at, um, not having a whole lot of time to work out, I have put on a lot of weight uh, throughout the years. And I went from, you know, as a child and young adult, always being um, a, a stick, basically, <laughs> being skinny to I am now considered obese. So, you know, that's a drastic change for me. But going back to what I was saying, I don't feel like it was a waste of money for me because I got to a point where I had so much extra fat and weight around my waist area because that's mainly where I gain is my midsection. So I had so much weight in that area where I did not feel comfortable wearing certain things. Like try to catch me in a bodycon dress was not going to happen. Me wearing um, like tight fitting shirts, I could not wear them anymore. I could not wear a shirt and tuck it into my pants. It got to a point like, what's the point of wearing belts? Nobody's going to see it. <laughs> like I had one belt, the end, and it was just a basic black belt. No designer, no nothing to it because what's the point? I'm always going to wear an oversized shirt or a shirt that flares out over it. So no point in you know, spending money, real money on a belt, no point. So it, it just, it gave me that boost and that opportunity to wear things that I wasn't able to wear for a while. Also health benefits. I struggled a lot once I gained weight or I would say went up to a certain weight where I struggled a lot with acid reflux. And anyone that deals with acid reflux, you you know my pain. Like having to not, you don't get good sleep because you can't eat that late at night. Um, you can't eat certain foods because it will irritate it. And Basically, for those that don't know the feeling of it or have not dealt with it, it's when your stomach acid is basically like pushed up into your throat. So like I would, if not throw up what I would eat, and I'm sorry that I'm <laughs> going into all these details, but if I didn't throw up, I would still have a stomach acid that would come up in my throat and burn and have this awful taste in my mouth. It is just not something that you wanna go through. Well, having the, the fat removed off of my stomach, I think that it took a lot of pressure off of my stomach where I wasn't dealing with it as much anymore. I'll still have flare ups here and there where I do deal with acid reflux, but when I tell you it's um, far, far between, almost not at all. <laughs> so um, I would say very random that it'll happen. Like usually it happens if I eat too late at night or, you know, before laying down. If I have something that's too greasy, then it'll happen. And, you know, basically I know to stay away from doing that. But before, it didn't matter what time I ate, it, it would still happen. Like I would have sometimes have to sit up and sleep, which is very uncomfortable. So definitely that was a benefit of it, as well as knee pain. I had a lot of knee pain that I noticed when I put on so much weight. And I, I keep saying so much weight. So 
The highest that I got up to, I believe was 260. If I'm not mistaken, it was 250-ish, 260. It was somewhere around that range. That was the highest that I got up to. I was able to get down to 240 prior to the procedure. And after having the procedure, I was able to lose 20 pounds, well, 20 plus. I think the lowest I got down to after the procedure was 218. And <laughs> due to quarantine, I have put back on a lot of weight. I am back up to almost 250 again, but um, it is still not, it's still not the same. It's still not where I was prior to having this procedure. I would say my stomach is still a lot. I mean, when they tell you it's to remove the fat permanently, it's to remove the fat permanently. So I still don't have the same struggle with my stomach and having to dress like I'm eight months pregnant or, you know, things like that. I can still um, wear body con dresses and tight fitted shirts and tuck my shirt into my pants those type of things that I couldn't do prior to the procedure. Now, um, I, I can't really think of any other questions that were presented to me. I just wanted to really get on here and address those questions because they kept coming at me. Um, they were addressed on, I, I posted two videos about Sona Bello. So, Sometimes, you know, a question will be presented on one video and then it will be presented later on the other video. So basically I was going back and forth answering the same question two or three times. <laughs> I wanted to address all those questions. If you all have any more questions for me, please don't hesitate to ask. I, you know, that's something that when I first put the first video out, I wanted to do it because I wanted to be here for anyone that was thinking about the procedure or just got the procedure and, you know, had those questions and may have not felt comfortable to ask the staff at Sonobello or, you know, just, just wanted to ask someone that had been through it. So I'm here. <laughs> so definitely don't hesitate to ask me any questions and I hope that that cleared up a lot of questions that people had regarding the procedure. And I hope to be here to answer any more. So thank you for watching. And I, I'm gonna post some before and after pictures as well at the end of this video, just so that you can have an idea of my personal uh, benefit, <laughs> I guess you can say, from the procedure. And like always, please, please like, comment, subscribe, and I hope to see you back.